you want to know the easiest way how to make web browser games in Unreal Engine and how to upload them on itch.io to share them with your friends? Watch this video. Sadly, Epic dropped the web browser support from the version 4.24. So there are three options left. Install 4.23, build your own Unreal Engine version with the HTML extension or use paid services. Compiling Unreal with a plugin is too complicated, so I won't do that. This paid service I found in the internet has uh, the word metaverse on its page, so this is probably just bullshit. So we're going to install Unreal Engine 4.23 and I will show you some options which will make the installation a little bit smaller. To add a new version of Unreal Engine to your installations, you want to press on this little plus sign here. You can select the engine version in the new open tab here. And we want to select 4.23. You um, want to press install. This installation thing is going to open. In the options, you want to open this. And we're going to deselect some stuff. Um, we only want actually the target platform to be HTML5 because you can use for all other platforms newer versions of Unreal. So we will deselect Android, iOS, and Linux. We only want to have HTML5. This is going to reduce the required storage space to 14 gigabyte. I think the rest is okay. Hit apply. You select your destination and just hit install. This is going to start the download and installation process. This is going to take a while. I'm going to create a new project, a twin stick shooter template. Looks very interesting. We're going to select the desktop console target platform. And we will choose Scalable 3D or 2D without starter content. I'm going to call this a browser game and we want to create the project. I noticed that you can't use this template without a gamepad, so I modified the blueprints a little bit. You can do this like I did. I show you here a screenshot of my modifications of the blueprint. It is in the Twin Stick Shooter Pawn especially in the fire shot function, I highlighted the most important parts by red. Now we want to package our project for deployment on a website. At first I want to show you two settings which I find really helpful when packaging my projects. You want to select the settings icon here and go to project settings. Then you can see on the left hand side the packaging settings. And here in the packaging settings, uh, in the project tab, there are two very important settings. The first one is full rebuild. This helps me a lot with packaging problems, so I always select full rebuild. The second one is for distribution. If you select this checkbox, it will automatically set your build configurations to shipping and all other stuff which is connected to this and you will not see any debug messages in the packaged project anymore. People tend to forget some print statements and this turns them all off. Now that we have all the right settings, we want to go to File, go to Package Project, and we want to select HTML5. This is going to open a new folder to select the location of your build. I like to make a new folder and I just call this builds, like so. We want to select this folder and this starts immediately the packaging project for HTML5. This is going to take a few moments, depending on how, your, how big your project is. After the packaging is done, you want to navigate to your folder. It is usually found in the documents, in the folder called Unreal Projects in the folder with the name of your project. In our example, it's browser game. And you can find the build in the folder, so-called builds. There is an HTML5 folder, and you're going to see all these files in it. 
if you want to test the browser game on your browser without uploading the file into the internet, you have to launch the HTML5 launch helper exe. This is going to open a window. You can navigate to the server by typing in this HTTP localhost 8000 into your web browser. There you're going to see this Unreal web server thingy. This is only accessible inside your computer, so you can't share this localhost 8000. Um, you want to click on browser game HTML5 shipping HTML. This is going to start this window and there you see our game is working. If you enjoyed this tutorial so far, hit like and subscribe. Also, check out my Twitch channel, links in the description down below. To be able to upload this correctly to itch.io, you will have to rename the browser game HTML5 shipping HTML. We're going to rename this to index HTML. Now you want to select all the files, but the launch helper the readme text and the run mac launch helper command thingy and zip them like uh, so and these three also you can zip them uh, usually with seven zip right click and we want to add this to html5 zip when you create a new project on HIO, the most important part is to select the kind of project. You have to set this to HTML and yeah, pricing, nothing to worry about. And uh, in the upload section, you want to upload the zip file containing your game like this. And because of uh, this uh, requirement from HIO, we had to rename this html file inside the zip folder you want to go to the upload files and select your zip file we compressed a few seconds ago press html file select it we want to open this the upload is pretty fast and here we go we're finished this file will be played in the browser. You can select this and yeah, you have some embedding options here. You can change the viewport dimensions. You want to hit save. And now we're going to view the page in the first launch. It's going to load a little bit. Now we can run the game. It's downloading the game now. Uh, there we go, it's working. We have a functional Unreal Engine 4 game inside our browser. Nice. Thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button.